Salmonella is a bacterium that causes foodborne illness. It resides in the intestines of animals and is transmitted through animal foods. Salmonella is considered a very common infection and is the second most common foodborne infection after norovirus. While salmonella itself is not typically a severe disease, it is still a leading cause of death from foodborne diseases, accounting for around 400 deaths per year in the USA. The most common sources of salmonella are raw or undercooked turkey and chicken meat. Uncooked eggs also carry a risk of salmonella, as the inside part of the egg can be contaminated. Other meats are also common sources. Symptoms typically start within six hours of ingesting the bacteria. Diarrhea, often mucoid or bloody, is the most common symptom, accompanied by abdominal cramps and nausea. Vomiting is also common, especially in children, and fever is frequently observed with salmonella infections. Symptoms generally last for four to seven days. Most cases recover on their own without additional symptoms or complications. However, some cases require hospitalization, particularly if the person is an infant, immunocompromised, or elderly, as the risk of complications is higher, and sometimes salmonella can lead to death, though such cases are very rare. These rare cases can occur due to sepsis and multi-organ failure. Dehydration is also a significant concern, especially among infants, making adequate fluid and electrolyte intake crucial. Treatment includes supportive care, hydration, and electrolytes. In severe cases, hospitalization and intravenous fluids, along with antibiotics, may be necessary. Persistent high fever, persistent and severe diarrhea with watery or bloody content, lethargy, weakness, irritability, and inability to feed are red flags signaling a serious infection. Stool culture is considered the gold standard for diagnosis being highly accurate, but may take several days. Rapid stool tests, which detect antigens and toxins produced by salmonella in the stool, are also available. Blood cultures are used if sepsis is suspected. First-line treatment is rehydration. For infants, frequent breast milk or formula milk is recommended. Older children and adults should take oral rehydration solutions. The best practices for prevention include avoiding raw or undercooked food, especially for young children, and practicing frequent hand washing. In the general population, antibiotics are not recommended as a first-line treatment, but in risk groups like young children, pregnant women, and immunocompromised patients, antibiotics are advised. Fluoroquinolones like ciprofloxacin and levofloxin are commonly used in the elderly while azithromycin is used in children. There is no widely available vaccine for salmonella because it has more than 2,500 serotypes, making it difficult to create a complex, effective, and safe vaccine. The body does develop some immunity after a salmonella infection, but this immune response is often serotype-specific, meaning it does not protect against other serotypes of salmonella.